Alright everyone, welcome back to Champions of the Fog. We are loading in for trial number one of the semi-finals for Group A. It is Petroleum versus Elysium. And our poor Claudette is found nearly immediately. Oh my goodness, I don't even get to introduce Pally live, my buddy Coast, co casting with me. Oh my goodness. Hi. Hi, hi Pally. <laughs> Sorry, the action started. What you got? I mean, no, it's it's you know, it's a Wesker, so the action always gets started very, very quickly. Early on, who do you got in this one, Rengard? Come on. What do you mean, what do I got? What do you got? Who do you got in this one? Who, who, who's, who's, your, who's your top pick for this game? For for Petroleum versus Elysium? What do you mean my top pick? I'm like, this is Momo playing Wesker. I saw them practicing last night, so I imagine they've come to, you know, to party and tango here. Listen, I get that, okay? I'm, I'm a huge fan of Elysium myself, okay? You know this, I, I gawk about them all day. <laughs> Understandably so, and looks like Claudette will be taking Chase to the corner of the map. Trying to hold on for dear life. Vaulting over the pallet using really good mind games, but they will take an M1 eventually. Oof. But we see that Ace is already almost done with their generator as two survivors are doubling up in the meantime. So they are making the most out of this chase, and Wesker not quite, quite able to get the bound to up to them. Oh my goodness, this survivor is doing so much work. This is going to be a solid three gen run very well possibly could be here comes the bound but able to get around the corner buff nothing oh! oh bouncing on the generator second gen going down looks like a starting a third one in the meantime and they will be able to make this pallet oh and jake's now here for a body block this is yeah i'm about to say you might have to drop chase and tyler with claude out here it might be too long yeah still still hey is putting in work here they really are serious work that's the thing that's really tough about some of these Group A teams is that individual players are top players in the 1v1 ladder. Yep. Absolutely. And so they're individually demons in the chase. Let alone collectively, they've played hundreds to thousands of hours together. They just have that built-in synergy and just... Yeah, this is not going in Petroleum's favor for this first trial. Oof. And that's that the thing is that's not even a, a slight against Momo. Momo is is as good as they get and you know it's just Oh yeah, they have a win streak. They have multiple win streaks on Wesker. They're a very Absolutely. very good mastermind. First hook coming in looks like it's going to be a pain residence and uh we'll see how they try to recover this. Oh, they get they find Jake immediately. That could be a quick down as well. Oh, we that see is everybody. definitely one of the better Wesker chases I think I've ever seen. Yeah, they did a really good job and it's some unfortunate collision as well. A couple of those bumps were a tad rough, but looks like they are actually going to be not opting for the tunnel out immediately, instead going after Jake. And it does make a little bit of sense. I think they realize that this, they kind of need to get their pain residence going. They kind of need to get some uh, fresh hooks going and just spread out the love instead of just going after one survivor and getting rid of them. I think their points are going to be definitely in these fresh hooks. Also, you know, going after Sil Hay, you know, our Claudette, it lasted a long time the first time. It will probably last a long time the second time. That's valid. And they do get Jake down. So this will be second hook coming in for the killer. First hook for Jake. But the question is, what's the gen progress looking like? Surprisingly, not as much as I would have thought. We are taking our Jake quite a ways here, going for that pain resonance. Or they might be going... Oh, it is a pain resonance. But I was thinking they might also just be going for the zone. And, oh, it wasn't even the gen that had the most progress that's a little interesting scary Interesting choice uh, well not interesting choice i actually see a lot of people running brutal on wesker is that a, is that a big oh, thing i don't play it's a ton of wesker. huge wesker is uh, brutal's great on wesker so you know like most people bring brutal on m1 killers because like oh you know i think it i think it nets you somewhere around four seconds in chase for catching up when you have to break a pallet usually breaking a pallet i think gets you 20 seconds of distance something along those lines i think brutal strength gives you back four seconds of chase but for Wesker, you break the pallet and then you immediately bound. You can get hits after it. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, Brutal is yeah, I don't, phenomenal. I don't play a ton of Wesker myself. That's all good. I, I like Wesker a lot. He does feel buttery sometimes. Uh, his hitbox is super hit or miss, uh, no pun intended. But let's have the second yeah, stage. We'll be trying to be confirmed here. We see the gen at the hill being worked on. But I think it, I think you have to let it go at some point. Yeah, at some point you do have to let it go now, who are we on now we're on the ace. ace now yep 
Ooh, they're actually going to go for the chase and commit to it. Is second stage going to be secured? It looks like it is. Nobody else is coming in for the pickup. Barely that missing. That would hit the... me. Oh, yeah, it would hit me, too. It looks like they are going to commit <laughs> to the hill gen. No, they're not. Last piston isn't quite firing. Oh, great filler pallet, though. Again, not yeah. going for the tunnel out on Jake. They're going to let Jake get unhooked and not go for it. Oh, that was a throw. That was a perfect example of Brutal on Wesker right there. Mm -hmm. It really, really was. Again, Brutal. Wow. Everyone I've ever seen or talked to that's a Wesker main swears up and down that Brutal is just the way to play. And you know what? I totally get it at this point. Oh, getting hit over the top. They are getting their fresh hook points, which is, you know, at having that really rough first chase is probably the best thing they can hope for. Absolutely. Double oh, my goodness. on the gens? Oh, my goodness. Kind of expected it. I did not it. expect that. Well, we didn't see Claudette the rest of the game, so Claudette was put, hooked up in the back on that generator, and that does make a lot of sense. Looks like they already got a little bit of progress on it. However, that is going to be a fresh hook on the server, and we do see that this killer is packing some no wed. Our, our good friend Cousin Eddie in here. They are. Jake, why don't you take a little bit of aggro here as they are worth far less points. The question is, do the survivors see it coming? And Ace is the one that unhooks. They are the freshest survivor. Looks like they're holding a sprint burst. Yeah, they are. So the question is, will they be able to get out? Jake coming in for the body block as they were, again, worth less points than Ace. And I think they smell the Noed. Oh, they definitely you, smell you the Noed. Tell. You can see Noed from a mile away. All right, you bound. You try and get in front of them and body block. No, he throws them into the thing, but I think you make it out. Does the 4% distance get you there? It does. Yeah. Oh, oh, no. That's rough. I think they were trying to throw him a little bit further away, but it did not work out. That and Claudette, or still Hay at the beginning with that first chase, set the tone for the entire match. They really did. However, this survivor is worth some extra stages. They did cleanse Noah. They got the pickup on Zeno. This Adam is still worth some points, though. These endgame scenarios are so crazy. I mean, at this point, you're not going to get the 4K in all likelihood. So oh, now there's it's no best 4K. Just clo close that gap as much as you can. Get as many points as you possibly can. And it. Oh, it resulted ooh, in a it's slam. It's not looking good. But I said you wanted, you wanted to get a throw there. This yep. is a rough scenario. Yep. One more Oof. bound coming in, maybe. No. It was the heal survivor. That would have been nice, but nope, not today. That's so difficult. Those survivors played that so cleanly. Absolutely. All right, everyone, welcome back to Champions of the Fog. We're loading it back in for trial number two. It is the return of the Mastermind, played by Zeno for Elysium, and already spotting survivors in the distance at the four lane. These survivors have to play absolutely perfectly, beyond perfectly. They have to look at the killer, and the killer has to make mistakes. Yeah, these survivors, they well, we're getting into our first chase here. These survivors have to put in some serious work. <laughs> they really do. An interesting use, uh, they're using egg instead of the gloves. So instead of having a quicker cooldown for their power, they're actually just going to have a longer downtime when they're in between bounds. I have to see if this pays off for them. I do like the add-on. Oh, pays off enough. Ooh. That's not a good sign because it, it took so long for the first down to happen in the in the first uh, first game. Mm hmm. Exactly. Yeah. That that first chase from Silhe I think lasted almost a full minute and a half, two minutes. Absolutely yep. crazy chase, and that chase lasted uh, 30, 40 seconds. I don't know how long it was to corrupt. Oh, it was less than that. <laughs> Definitely a bit of a rough first chase, and honestly the. That's the unfortunate thing for uh, for Petroleum here. Killer can kind of just camp this out if he really feels like it, but he's not. He's actually going to go looking for survivors. He is not satisfied. I'm not satisfied by the collision. That collision was awful. My goodness. Oh, I almost feel bad for, for our survivors here because, like I said, they got their work cut out for them. They have to... They don't have a lot of wiggle room here. They don't. <laughs> They have very little, if at all. Uh, 
not sure if they were trying to go for the blind on the killer or just shining it at their friend. That was very interesting. It might be one of those situations where you just do your best to keep the uh, the gap of points closed as much as you can and try and try and make a comeback in the second set. Possibly, but that's the like you, you obviously in order. Oh my goodness, that was sick, and it almost worked. Ooh. The prediction was that they would go around the tile, not that they would vault the window, but that almost worked out in their favor. That would have been a, that would have been a sick bound. Been a highlight reel for sure. I mean, again, Wesker can just sit here and secure this uh, this death hook. Looks like Renato is going to come in for the unhook. Not even a hook trade, so they will be able to finish the animation and not get canceled. But even then, this hook plus another hook one is gonna is gonna seal the deal. We got some gen progress going here. I don't know. I don't know how these survivors do this. This is this seems like a almost too tall of an order for any survivors. Very likely could be. It's definitely be going to be uh, a bit of a difficult ask. Again, that is any fresh hook here. Oh, they get the hug tech? Ooh, you hate to see it. What do you mean? I love to see hug techs, but no, that, that was rough. <laughs> also crazy, this killer has pain resonance and hasn't hit a single pain res. That's called insurance. <laughs> this killer is all the insurance then. This killer is overinsured. This is like insurance fraud. What do you mean? <laughs> I mean, you've already got eruption. You've been doing very well with that so far. You've effectively made the tie condition. Oh, trying to hug tech it, but not quite able to get it. Our Ash here is dead. They are very dead. Ooh. I thought they're gonna go for a blind bound just for kicks and giggles, but not gonna be the case. Unhook coming in as <laughs> Renatu goes down. That's why they brought Egg. They want to be able to do some spicy hug techs. That's what they're looking for. Yep. They're going for style points. I do appreciate it. As uh, I'm sure this Ash doesn't. For Ash. Yep. Death hook incoming for Ash. Hanadu's still on the ground. And it looks like the survivors are probably a bit toastier. Yeah. Just a bit. That's not a slant on their skill at all. It's just like the fact that this... This, this was an almost impossible win con for, for any survivors. Yeah, that was a really difficult ask for sure. Yep. Pallet already gone, and that is going to be Nancy going down. No, Hanatsu yep, so, in the wing to give him a flashlight save. And yeah. Hay just did so exceedingly well in that first chase mm -hmm. in the last game that it was going to be impossible to match that. Yeah, that was a... Honestly, you're right. Like, it goes just goes back to that first chase in the first trial. That was such an MVP-level chase for the game. Yep. And just not able to bring it back ever since then. There, there was so much momentum gained in that chase for uh, Elysium that it, it, it was basically full-on juggernaut mode. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. We see Hinatu working on the jet in the distance out of the corner of the killer's eye. And then Ace is over here at the four lane. Gets... Th That's the crazy thing. They... They account for the flare so they flick their mouse right but then immediately flick left during the bound so they don't throw the survivor away from the four lane and that's the macro right that's the micro what are you talking about sorry the sorry sorry okay i said the wrong thing macro is the the high level gameplay the, the no no mind, i know the mentality. Okay, okay i woke up and i started casting with you okay where's your i mean it's fine where is your mind <laughs> <laughs> and that is leaving them on the ground to bleed a little bit. Nancy not able to hide long enough, and Nancy will be not long for this world as this killer has done some phenomenal chases. Not winning that mind game, and that Ooh. is going to be Nancy sent back to the campfire. Hanatu having to do pickup duty after getting an unhook. And yeah, this is looking like not even... It might be 4K2, but it's looking 4K3 unless they get something done quick. Yep. Not looking pretty. Again, Elysium just absolutely going ham this first trial on the Wesker set. Elysium has the the capability to, to just be monsters. 
absolute mar Ooh, the nopers the nopers say nope that uh that gen is mine thank you very much and that will yeah. be set number one falling to elysium very handedly which not not the not the start you want if you're patrolling because that means even if you do have to go into this uh tiebreaker set tie breaks are not going to be on your side so you have to win both of these next sets outright a valiant effort from our hanatu there trying to commit to the gen for at least just, just the slightest edge <laughs> two points is two points yep every, in a situation like this every point matters yeah i've been so. in a fair number of yeah I've, I've seen a fair number of games where a uh, team won by less than two points actually i've seen i've seen a couple of games won by a single point so i will say this may be one of the few games where one point is not the biggest difference but i mean never know set two comes around maybe you maybe you have a really good you know set two but yeah regardless they're gonna have to all right everyone welcome back to champions of the fog we're loading back in for trial number three set number two it is the dredge on midwitch and uh i don't know about you pally but uh dredge is a bit of a an acquired taste a specialty taste as of the buff and this killer goes fast we were talking about it the other day with t this killer feels almost like singularity so see how it goes but uh welcome in oh yeah they they giga buffed him didn't they not giga but they gave him so many base kit buffs that it feels nice oh my gosh they get to get rid of two locker oh my word that's huge so they were already setting up for the locker teleports, and that's already one set of lockers that is already gone. Nah, but I say this is the god pallets are not god pallets on this map with the dredge. <laughs> I love seeing that. I love seeing that. There's only one god pallet that's really a god pallet against oh. dredge on this map. Oh, that is so unfortunate. Again, not able to get it. And again, the dredge we saw, we saw yesterday a dredge absolutely lose their mind because there were so many lockers locked. And this killer is taking all the time they need to get rid of these uh, locked lockers, make sure that they can get out of whatever they need to. Teleporting around, spreading the chaos. There's Sloppy Butcher in play. No corrupt intervention. We got Ruin in play. Ruin is top tier on this yeah. matchup. And the thing about destroying the lockers, you know, when you're Dredge, destroying the lockers is 100% worth it because if, if, you, if you have the game sense, that's going to come back to you tenfold mm -hmm. in value. Absolutely. So. Look at that Nightfall already being farmed up. Unsafe pallet. My name's coming in. Dropping it on one side and... There they go. First hook incoming. They did seem to reset Ooh. Hanatu. But yeah, they both say they've got Nightfall in play. Looks like they're aiming for a specific hook. First gen does go down though. And that is, in fact, a pain resonance. I figured it might be. Would tend to make sense. How do the survivors pull it from here, though? Again, this is one of the... Oh, my goodness. She almost got grabbed. The prediction. It looked like she should have been grabbed, and maybe it was uh, a lag or a latency issue. They are on different ping, so it might have been something like that, but... Ooh, expecting the vault, but not going to end up going for it. Going right back to the hook, though. This is insane. My goodness. Well, this makes a lot more sense because now you know there's two people that are running away. They're not on mm -hmm. gens now. Exactly. Just so much pressure coming in. Looks like Hinatu was able to get a fourth people off, so it's not as easy of a tunnel out, so they are going to go for Hinatu instead. Oh, great fake here at the pallet. But as I this is this is your least safe pallet of all time. Oof. End of night. Especially against the dredge. <laughs> yeah. And then Ruin just still doing so much work. These games start to get grindy. And I imagine that's what we're going to see here is this game slowly grind to uh, almost a standstill. Yeah. Can we get a memo to this uh, to, to Zeno here to slow down so I can keep up? I don't... <laughs> there are no brakes on the slug train. But I say, that's what, this is insane. That's what they're going to go for. They're going to go for the four-man slug at four gens. They want to... Oh, my goodness. They want a bottleneck and bottleneck hard. Oh, yeah. They are here to play, and it is showing. Survivors have absolutely no moment to breathe. 
You know, it's, if they want to go for the four-man slug, Sloppy is going to kill for that. Mm-hmm. It really is. Holding through the pallet. They do finish a second gen, so survivors are definitely not taking this lightly. And they do end up going down. First up coming in for Ace, I believe. I, believe I mean, at the very up. least, they're spending a ton of time getting their teammates up. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Their rotations are good, though. They are able yep. to keep a survivor on a generator, which is really big, while also getting resets and pickups. But again, another Nightfall coming in, a survivor on hook. We'll see if they survive the night. Good attempt, but end up going down. You could... Yeah, but like, you actually do have the ability to go for the... Yeah, they thought there was a survivor here for a reset, and it doesn't need to be the case. Yep, that's the smart move. Leave her on the ground, make someone come pick her up. I'm gonna say, you honestly could go for the hook if you're really feeling it. But it seems not to be the case. Uh, Survivor's still on hook. Nobody in sight coming in for the unhook just yet. Are they? You gotta think about it this way. There's one on the gen? hook, there's one on the ground. There's, there's gonna be at least three that end up off gens at, at the moment. That's fair. Looks well, like they did see Killer Instinct on one survivor. Another one downstairs. But say, There's I, our gen jockey downstairs, right? Possibly? Looks well, like they're split um, at the moment, which is really weird. I'm not really sure what's going on. It looks like second stage is about to happen to Haunt, though. No, they barely get the unhook before second stage comes in. Yeah, this killer has so much pressure. It's absolutely crazy. Yeah. Now, do you think it's a waste of time to fully heal with Sloppy and play like that? Mm, no, because you can't afford to take free hits. If the dredge gets a good jump on you and you don't have a safe pallet nearby, that's true. You do not want. It's the same thing with Ghostface and Wraith. Uh, in these Especially stealth games, with his, you have with his to increased heal. teleport speed. Yeah, you have to heal. It's just the nature of stealth games. You gotta heal. Mind games. Oh, oh my word! beautiful mind game coming in I from just, Zeno. I just cracked a smile like the Grinch, okay? <laughs> I have a very, very distinct mental image of that. Thank you. <laughs> You've seen my face, so you know. <laughs> I have. I, I do know. And looks like Jake is not long for this world. They do go down. I believe that's going to be second hook incoming for Jake. They do get the reset on ice. That's the crazy thing. They actually don't have a ton of hooks here, but the killer still had such an immense amount of pressure. Despite that, the survivors have reset, and they're going to try and get back into this game. Ruin is still up, and I think it's because they don't want... They want to play through a uh, Ruin and not give the killer potential eruption or pop. An immediate unhook, too. That might cost them. Do they mean to teleport here? Or is this, a, this, is, is this a part of their plan to cut them off? So with this buff, singular... Or, I'm um, sorry, um, Dredge is just locker hucks. Yeah, it feels like it. Again, that's why specifically <laughs> on Midwitch. Specifically on Midwitch, they feel so amazing because they do genuinely feel like this killer that can pop up anywhere at any given time, and it makes it this yeah. very interesting dynamic gameplay. But then if you get if you get Dredge on on Swamp, you may as well just play Trapper. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Effectively. That's another thing about Dredge. So map dependent. They really, really are. And again, a four of the people I just now realized on to Jake to make sure they're not tunnelable. And Ace with Lucky Break not able to be lucky enough to get away. It looks like they actually will take some distance here. Killer? I'll be honest, that Lucky Break, that Lucky Break would have got me. That would have fooled me. I totally get it. And Nancy getting hit in the meantime. Nightfall about to come down. And this gen is getting pushed away. You could hook on this gen and, you know, watch it regress with Ruin. Getting it over the top. Zeno is playing absolutely out of his mind. And the Survivors, yep. they're, they're playing a lot better than they did the first set. They are definitely bringing this game back together. Oh, listen, they found Hanadu, though. I was say, at some point, you do have to go and hook this Nancy. And yeah, that's what they're going to go for, I think. Ruin is putting in so much work here. It really here. is. It if he can get is. a pain res off this Nancy if he hasn't hooked her yet. Whoa, survivors actually do finish another Ooh. separate generator. So they are, this is what I'm talking about. The survivors are definitely fighting back. I think Petroleum's finally hitting their stride. And it's just the fact that Zeno just plays like a demon. Oh, they are trading blows. Like, Ooh. oh, that hurts. I thought that was going to hit. After all the hits that I've seen in this game so far, I thought that was going to hit connect and it didn't. 
Yeah. A hook coming through, and there's a... Uh, yeah, those that they did find Ace. This is going to be second hook for Ace, I believe. Again, these pallets really not mind gameable with the dredge, just wasting time. Leave him on the ground, going back to the other side. They know stars are going to be trying to double up this generator. Oh, but I think Hanatu's... No, has Hanatu not been hooked? They've just been for the people this whole time. Interesting. Very interesting. Yeah, it almost looks like look. our dredge is, is like Zito is saving these pain reses for when they absolutely need them. You know, that does kind of seem to be the case, which is kind of crazy to think about, considering that Midwitch is one of those maps that isn't really great for pain res sometimes, given the RNG of it, but they are utilizing it very usefully. But yep. now, look, okay, now I'm trying to see what the gen spread is. Oh, they find Jake. Oh. Jake and Ace. Mm-hmm. About to say, Jake is the death target here. If Jake can make this chase last a long time, though, about to say, Ace is going to go down for Jake. Yep. Survivor's job in this entire thing is to make the 4v1 last as long as possible. Oh, they actually get the stun. These guys are playing on 150 ping, by the way, I think. Yeah. And they actually managed to get the stun. Good call, Couldn't but not going to be quick enough as they... Yeah, this... no, that's Nancy. They're only second hook. And they do end up going down. But I think they were looking for a locker to try and uh, force. Oh, this is... Yeah, oh this might be the goodness. end of Jake's. Yep. Yep. And they do go down over the pallet. That is going to be lights out for Jake. Do the survivors have the... Do they have any gen that they're working on? How did that not connect? How was that not an angle? Was that just lag? It could have been lag. It could have also been maybe... Uh, maybe they weren't aiming at the dredge right? Because <laughs> I, I swear these oh, days, no. survivors can be behind me and I'll still get blinded. <laughs> I must say, I don't know how that wasn't even like a... It wasn't even trying to... Play. It never even got the prompt for it, so... Yeah, but I say now the game's going to start slowly falling apart, I think. Ace going down, immediately jumping onto Nancy. Nancy going down, not even able to get to the pallet, and now it's just Hanatu left. And Hanatu has been hooked once, so... Yeah, this might... This might be a scenario where they're just going to have to pray that they get hatch. Yeah. No, they went for the unhook! Is that really wise, giving away your positions like that? I I think they just don't want to... I, I don't think they want to take a chance on the hatch. I think that's what it is. They just don't want to take a chance on They're like, they have better shots. I think they have better shots just trying to make something uh, happen with the survivors they have on hand and try and get a gen done. Strong mental state, I'll give them that. Ooh, very well done getting the fast vault on that. Survivors are really, really uh, adept at getting those fast vaults that you and I, eh, we struggle for a little bit. We'll sit there, getting a reset on I don't on struggle ace, for those. I just, I don't see a lot of survivors who, who, who make that fast vault. That is fair. No killer instinct up top. Oh, never mind. Spoke too soon. They find Nancy, and that is going to be death hook for Nancy. Yep. Dead. D E D. Ace has uh, been reset in the meantime. Hanatu still injured. Looking around, not seeing anything. Looks like they do actually find Ruin, but just in time for Nightfall to come around the corner. Oh, I think this is Hanatu. I see blood. Yep, this is Hanatu. Good bit of distance, though, surprisingly. Yep. Holding W, that's the best thing you can do right now. True. Waste oh. as much time as you can. Teleporting in past the, the door. I didn't realize that was... Uh, I thought the door was broken already. And that's the crazy thing. There's not as many lockers as there used to be in this area. Get a little bit more distance. Oh, and they hear two killer instincts. They know the other survivor is nearby. Getting hit over the pallet. And I imagine they're going to go look for Ace now. Yep, lock down that 4K. Not seeing anything. Still trying to get a Killer Instinct. I say, if I was Ace, I would go to the middle courtyard and try and hide out there. 
There are a couple of spots that don't have enough lockers nearby that you might be able to... Oh, and that's where they find them. Yep, and this Ooh. is going to be looking like a 4K2, which, in all fairness, is not an impossible ask of Dredge. I have seen Dredge's half to 4K3, and they actually manage to. Dredge is one yep. of those few killers that you, if you play them so chaotically and so snowballing, you can get that result sometimes. And if it was going to be possible, it's going to be po like for, for any killer on any map, it's going to be Midwitch with Dredge. Yeah. Seen that's, some his, crazy that's his results. playground. It pretty much is. <laughs> And we've definitely seen them go to town on it, so now just looking for their slugs. Again, Ace has been hooked twice. If they bleed out, it is uh, all the same in the points. Hinatsu, if they manage to bleed out in the two and a half minutes, they're still on the ground. Deny one point, which not a, not huge, but could be the difference between uh, life and death. If you get a... Obviously, obviously, if you tie set two, you're not really coming back in set three. No. Because uh, the, be the point difficult. difference is just so insane. Asking for asking to make that point difference is going to be absolutely awful. You would essentially have to play perfectly and have no mistakes. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Very much so. I will say, hiding out this far, denying one point could give you the set. It could give you true. the set. Well, like I said last set, like at, at this point, every point matters. Yeah. This could be the situation where if Petroleum is able to also do 4K2, it's not a tie condition, it's a win con. That is, you know, it, again, that gives you something for set three where it's like, okay, at least we go to set three with the condition of if we win, we win. Not if, you know, we lose, then, you know, bad news bears. Yeah. And, and the thing is, like, we've seen so much slugging in this, like... That, that's where it kind of backfires now if you can't find them in time because they've been slugged so much. Mm hmm Yeah, trying to listen for anything. They saw where Ace was. I say, if you don't find them soon, your best bet might be to just hook Ace, hit the... Uh, well, no, the endgame timer won't stop before they bleed out at this point. So, yeah, you've got to find is, the survivor. Ace is really close to a very common hatch spawn, right? Um, I don't think I don't think any hatch offering actually matters in this. Oh no, I know that, but he's really he's outside. He's close to a hatch spawn that is very common. True, true. All right, I'm I'm, I'm curious. Where are you hiding out? They were over here. There ain't no way. He was actually over here the whole time. No shot. Actually, they're really quiet. Oh, they have tenacity. That's why. And they bleed out. Oh. That is one point denied to the uh, to the killer here. So, in in all potentially two. Uh, no, the, the survivor is already death hooked. They 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 oh. they account for the same amount of points. It was it was a it was a single extra stage that was lost. So instead of being you know twenty four to six, it's going to be twenty three to six. So if okay. petroleum is able to come out and also four K two just like Zeno here, they actually win by one point default, which again, puts you in the scenario where at least you're not having to win outright by a large majority in set three. You can just win set three. It, it, it is, all right, everyone, welcome back to Champions of the Fog. We're loading back in for trial number four. Momo is cracking out the dredge. And uh, this is gonna be a not an impossible task, not even the tallest order, but it's gonna be a tough game. Obviously, oh, Momo yeah. has to play kind of out of their mind, and Elysium's got to make a couple mistakes along the way. They immediately find a totem too, which is ruin. Like I said, it's a it's it's a tall order, but at least this time it's not a borderline impossible order. True. So, but I say, against a good survivor squad, though, they can make it feel like an impossible order. We'll see how they uh, how they play the macro, which is effectively feels like fifty to eighty percent of dredge at this point is just sheer macro. It's doable. <laughs> it is doable, indeed, and we will see how they. You've got to be the on your A game, though. I say these lockers already coming in and doing some work. Is this? I, I hope this isn't a repeat of yesterday's match where the the lockers were just absolutely gutting. Like you just couldn't get through the lockers. Another one. Given survivors so a one, whole one lot of So one thing that up. happened last game 
is um, Zeno was uh, breaking locks every chance they saw, and I think mm -hmm. that's what ultimately paid off and making it impossible for survivors to keep up. It definitely helps because again, like, the the game, the match we had yesterday had that exact same issue where they kept getting into locked lockers and couldn't seem to like find a way to force it through, and it was absolutely awful. Yeah. So they do get their first hit. It looks like it's going to be a first down as well. No Jolt coming in. I would have expected for a win con like this, maybe taking Jolt just to try and get some extra passive regression and understanding. Killer yeah, looking we around. We know we have Ruin in play. Yeah, Ruin's definitely going to do some work here, but survivors know where it is, and they're not choosing to cleanse, which is really interesting. If I'm these survivors, I'm going to want to cleanse Ruin, because like against the Dredge, he can just appear and push you off a gen so quick. Mm-hmm. Well, it's the thing is like, and survivors are really well attuned to this too. If you cleanse Ruin, there's a good chance. Oh, a four of the people coming in though. That is going to be huge, giving Adam a little bit of a second chance as a, not as easy of a target. But survivors also recognize that it's probably going to end up being a situation. Oh, they actually managed to, oh, it's blocked off. That's why they didn't go back in. Yeah, this might end yep. up being a down. Survivors are well aware that I... if you cleanse Ruin, you're probably going to face eruption. Now, what's worse, though, in the long run, against a dredge? Uh, take, pick your poison. They are, they're both yeah. pretty rough in their own right. Oh, my goodness. Two gents already down, though. Ace making such good use of this pallet. Ooh, the whiff there, too. Yep, and they do end up going down, but that is two gens later. Survivors, they do go for the cleanse, in fact. And we'll see now, how we'll they see handle. see how that plays out, yeah. We'll see if that was a mistake. Indeed. Getting to break a lock. We see us are over in this corner. I think that gen downstairs does have a bit of progress. We'll have to see. Flying eruption to that the generator. Big, the big downside about eruption is that every time you get use out of it, you've used two of the regression events. You can only use it on a gen four times. You gotta kick it and then you get the regression of eruption. True, but you also get the added benefit of you can commit to chases. Oh, residual manifest. Wow. Spicy, not letting you know where the gens are being just to, you know, keep track of like, hey, did you remember where that gen was? Actually a really spicy pick here from the survivors. Ano coming in and they will be able to get an entry. No iframes here and looks like they might even go for a tunnel out. One of these survivors is gonna go down most likely. The question is which one? It's like it's going to be Jake. There's the eruption going off, immediately teleporting to them. So I was trying to commit to it. One injured, though. Nightfall just now ending. It looks like, the, yeah, Adam's got to take a hit here. And this is where the potential snowball comes in. Ooh. And this is where they need that snowball. They do. Nightfall is charging really fast, too, with multiple survivors injured. They do get the pickup on Jake. And yeah, they want Adam dead here because they represent the closest survivor to being Deathhook. This pallet is not safe. They're probably going to finish a third gen for this. Oh, great mind game there, but not enough. And that is going to be a down. The question is, did Lara go back and finish the gen before the pain res comes in? Because that's the other thing, too, that's been really unfortunate for the killer. They haven't been able to snag a pain res because every single pain res has been on a different part of the map. This is the horrible RNG of Midwitch. That's the biggest problem with pain res, right? Mm -hmm. They finally get one here. Yep. Resets coming in, though. Can they find the reset points? Looks like they found someone. Not sure who it is, but Nightfall is in effect. It looks like it's going to be the injured survivor. Oh, they actually fall through. kind of what you want. Oh, my goodness. But they're in the room with no lock. Okay. I'm about to say, there's no pallet here. Momo's actually kind of getting close, but again, we saw the reset coming through. You don't come in for this unhook. You try and get gens done. And the question is, are they doubling or not? Yeah, you got to play this perfectly to get this. You really do. You cannot hook that Lara. Ooh, really good read there from the killer. And again, so do you notice they went into the courtyard? They wanted to not uh, telegraph where they're going to be going. There's the four people coming in from Ace, though. Once again, on to Adam. Ooh. Eruption is applied, so if they down a survivor, it is... Was well, so they just going to go for the pick? Is it going to be enough for a pain res? Say, like you can take a hit. Pain res. Yeah, and we see another survivor in the distance, so they know where all the survivors are. That is going to be another pain resonance. Oh. 
Eruption still applied to the generator. It is regressing. Do they come in for the pickup? No, they don't. They got some serious value out of this Nightfall, I think. Yeah, they did. And, like, he still got the eruption going on that gen. He, that gen's dead. Gen's pretty it was, close. It was 99, and now it's it's dead. <laughs> yep. Oh, great mind game coming in from Ace, though. Vaulting back through over the top. And can they make this chase last? Swinging through and they miss. Ooh. Going down. There's the eruption. Do they go for this hook, though? Does not. Oh, it looks like they will. But I say they need to start getting someone. They do reset in this amount of time, though. Survivors. Again, Another kind of swinging back res. into their place. Oh, but it is pain res. Going upstairs, which survivor is this? They need to find Adam, and that's the thing. I don't think they're going to give Adam for free. Unless they find Jake in the meantime. I think you take your tag and go... Oh, oh they're just going to abandon Chase immediately go back. Yeah, you got to keep them on their toes. You know, there's mm -hmm. more survivors over here, so... Absolutely. Keeping track of their generators the best they can. Looking around, let's they do find Ace once again. No pain res on the survivor, but they are at least one hook now. Power coming in in just a moment. Is it going to be enough? I don't think they applied eruption to anything just yet. Oh, I think they got caught up on the swing. Is and it me or did that seem like, a, like the animation slowed down to a crawl for that swing? <laughs> kind of, just a bit. And they do go down. That is going to be a second hook coming in for Ace. But if they do two gens right now, there's no pain res. Nope. Jake, 70% of the way. 50% with Adam. But look, they're on three different gens. How do you stop this? Oh, you, you, you don't. Wait, they're, you they're don't. dead. I didn't realize they were death hook. You even need to death, apply eruption even though they're death hook, they're still on three different gens. Yeah. You have no pressure right now. You really don't. You did push the survivor off the most progressed generator, though. Taking it, I must say, I think they forced Locker here, potentially. So you gotta kick this in, you gotta leave. Oh, this is gonna be close. Do they, do they teleport to the correct gen? No, they don't! No, oh. it's the wrong one. And that is going to be four gens yeah. complete for Elysium, and they will be taking set number two by just a point at this moment. If they finish Oof. the gen, it's it's a surefire victory, but they as of right now, they have one point over. Wow. That's crazy. They've played this so incredibly well. And that's the thing. I think Momo actually had so many shots. And they created so much pressure repeatedly. I'm not exactly sure at what point this game fell away. That's just how tight it was. Oh, absolutely. His first down was so quick, but then mm -hmm. again, like, it's so easy to lose that pressure. At the end of the day, after looking at it, I think what cost them the most was some of these chases, the micro, I think is what cost them. A lot yeah. of their power at the pallets didn't result in first hits. It resulted in the chase going for 15, 20 seconds longer. And that, I think that's end up what it costing them. I think their chases weren't quick enough on the pallets, which yeah, is whereas it, in, in contrast to in contrast to Zeno last last game, it, it, almost 100% success rate of, of using the power to get those mm -hmm. hits at pallets. I think that's what it ended up coming down to in the end. Because, again, their macro was top tier. They were pushing survivors to every corner of the map. They had so much yep. going on. Reset coming in. It looks like Jake will take a tag. Laura, in the meantime, pushed away. Jumping back to the survivor uh, on this generator. But it looks like actually nobody swapped over to this gen. So like it's just this one in the meantime. And that jet, I think, has had its regression limit. Yeah, it looks like it. No chase started yet, by the way. So these vaults aren't going to block. Oh, my. This is what I'm talking about. The mind games are just not going in their favor. 
he's still gonna get him here though yes they will and i don't even know if it's gonna end up in an eruption yeah i think there's too many event regressions on that generator so regression or the eruption's not gonna do anything i believe this is actually jake's is this jake's first look yeah it is and they're still gonna play it out they like again 4k1 here is still a really good result and they're gonna play it to the best of their ability was that they actually had the generator ready to pop from Laura's side? Oh, that almost oh, hit. That would have hit me. <laughs> oh, yeah, absolutely. I know. 100%. Every single one of these hits that miss would have hit us in pups. Yep. That's just the way it I'm, works. I'm, I'm 10 meters away from that window and I'm still getting hit. <laughs> absolutely. It was like Survivor above ready to drop down. But there's no locker because it's above a hook. Oh, that's so rough. Gale has to go all the way to the top just to try and get a sneak on the survivor. And the survivor sees it coming. They're going to dodge. Yeah, Elysium just played this so oh, well. We got a door open here. You have to play it really well to get a uh, two to three out against a dredge on Midwitch. Mm hmm. Absolutely. And to be fair, Elysium did play really, really, really well. The win con is definitely a bit tough to ask for in the case of Petroleum, but again, they, they showed it was it's definitely achievable. They showed that they had what it takes to pull it off, just not able to clutch it out in the end. Regardless, very, very well played to both these teams. And Elysium will Damn. be taking the W here in the first semifinal of the day. And they'll be going on to face whoever in the next semifinal wins. Wow. Hatch oh, was Hatch actually was right, right there. Right there. <laughs> that, that would have been kind of a, a salty little Hatch escape. Oof. Would have been a little bit of insult to injury, but regardless, yep. really well played. A good result regardless. And... That'll be all there is for this trial. We're we'll going on to the next playoff in just a moment. In about 30 minutes or so, it is going to be Eternal versus Calamity. Some, uh, some banger playoffs, you might say. I'll definitely be watching that one.